Hey everybody, T1 Glistener Elf here. This is the Vintage Untap Open League for, I want to say, the sixth season. I'm actually running a completely different deck. You can take a look at my hand, see what I have. Uh, but yeah, so, this is uh, this is not in fact. Uh, this is... Ta-da! This is Oath. Shoutouts to Oath of Druid. So uh, you see the, the four Oath, the Dragon Breath here? That means that I'm going to be running what's called Golden Gun Oath. Look at the creatures. It's uh, Blightsteel Colossus and Emrakul the Eons Torn. Uh, both of those creatures have, uh, well, the ability to... Emrakul doesn't exactly beat the opponent on the turn it gets to attack, but pretty much. Blightsteel just straight up does. Uh, so we're looking at an 11-11 indestructible trample infect creature uh, with haste thanks to Dragon Breath. Which is an uh, aura, it's a two mana aura that when a creature CMC 6 or greater enters the battlefield under your control, if it's in your yard, just attach it straight to it. So that's what we're going to do here. So you go Oath, and you have a 1 in 3 chance of hitting Dragon Breath first. Then if you hit one of the other creatures, you either get a hasty Infect 1111, etc. Or you get a hasty 1515 Flying Annihilator 6. Uh, either way... You're probably winning the game, and the reason it's called Golden Gun Oath is, of course, the Golden Gun from 007 being a one-hit KO. One-hit kill. As for Skylar, we're looking at pretty classic shops, actually. So I'm trying to see if there's anything that's out of the ordinary here, other than the fact that it's in reverse alphabetical order. Why? <laughs> uh, okay, but let's see. So there's no Traxos. Um... Two Hangerback Walker, a Golos, that's interesting. That, that's actually pretty neat. A Golos without the ability to activate it, realistically. Uh, yeah, and it goes and gets, I guess, just another Shops in all likelihood, or get you a Strip Mine. There's nothing particularly crazy. I guess get a Factory if you need another creature. Uh, but that being the case, Skyler, where are you? Where are you, buddy? Not letting me, oh no, it's not letting you in, dude. Not letting me in? All right. Uh, vintage deck. So we're we're playing on untap, on untap, and uh, it actually requires us to have a like you can set which format you can go in with, and you I think the way that it works is that you can't actually get in unless you bring a deck of that format, the format of whoever created the room, whatever deck they chose, whatever format they chose. Um, I chose vintage, of course. That's what we're doing, and uh, it's not this game is full. Uh. Hmm. Making sure that's the right. Hey, we got there. We got there. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. This is an EDH. Oh no. <laughs> the Ur Dragon. I swear, if that's actually a card you play, remember that was the thing I ran in uh, in Oath for a while. Oh, not Oath. In Infect, it was the Ur Dragon and Progenitus, and they went back and forth. Progenitus being the one that's not subject to removal, the Ur Dragon uh, just draws you a card as well. And you might even get to sneak a new permanent on the field. Uh, but this is, uh... uh... <laughs> um, it's alright. We got there. We got there, folks. I was, uh, I was curious. I was curious about that. Okay, so in the meantime, while, while Skylar's getting this all fixed up, because I'm pretty sure you can switch decks after you've... Yeah, you can. Uh, so we're looking at a uh, turn one time walk, like, uh, not turn, yeah, turn one time walk, or turn one oath, I'm gonna do time walk first in all likelihood, because I'll still be able to hold up a blue card for force of will. You know what though, we don't know who's going first, so it's probably gonna be, uh, force if I need to, force pitch preordain, uh, and then on my turn, time walk into, and this can go get tropical island of course, uh, and then on the next turn, oath, Forbidden Orchard. Uh, so we are in... St oh, it's it's okay. Fair enough, fair enough. It's been a while. This is me not blaming you one bit. It's all good. Make sure I was actually still in that. Uh, you know, you know... How do you change decks? Uh, oh, God. Is it gonna make me mull? Is it gonna make me... Is it gonna make me switch to a different hand? Oh, that, that would not be great. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Did I just... Okay, here, here. Let's see. Here, here. 
Change deck. Ha ha! Hover over the deck. Change deck. We're, we're getting there, folks. We're getting there. We're... Alright, this game, not really brought to you by, uh, cold brew, but I don't drink anything cold, so... <laughs> just... Just coffee. Just canned coffee. Because it was free, so why not? It was meant to be had cold, so, uh... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Alright. Oh, okay, okay, so this is how we're doing it. I, I, I dig it. it. It already gave him the turn, but unless I roll a 20. Alright, is that a... I think that's a 20. Please, our uh, 18. Oh, so close. So close. So close. It, it, it's okay, it gave Skylar the, uh, the ability to go first regardless, so it's all good. Although you haven't even seen your hand yet. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on! I can't help it. The melee player in me. I'll play. Cool. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna draw one at a time. Oh no. Oh no, Skyler, you're killing me. Uh, it's all good. I, I did, thankfully, because I need the caffeine, I did bring my, uh, my other cup, which is entirely too close to my computer, so... Oops. Oops in advance. Hope everything's okay. Keep. Yeah, I'd say this hand is alright. I'd say that this absolutely bonkers hand is alright. Same. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go in here just in case I need to alert a response. What's it gonna be? Uh, what is that? Uh... No, that's okay. We we can very much live with a steel overseer. That is. <laughs> All right, folks. Oh my wow. Okay, now Narset may not be the greatest card here, unfortunately, but we're going to go with a uh, fetch. Unfortunately, this part is going to take a hot second. So sorry about that. Give you just a moment. Find a card. Find a CAD. Let's see, where is Tropical? Now, thankfully, they're all in alphabetical order. Except, okay, there we go, now we can see. You can tell that my internet is uh, slow as dirt. Abs what does that even mean, Jay? You can tell that my internet is awfully slow. So, sorry about that. Yeah, no chalice? Well, let's just, let's just do it. Let's just uh, run them over, I guess. So we're gonna go uh, time walk, see if that's good. Maybe that resolves. Just I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that probably resolves. <laughs> Next turn. Cool. Alright. Just gonna make sure. Yep, okay, cool. Ooh, just in case we needed it. Uh how about how about we play, and my opponent, this is an open deck list tournament, of course, as you saw, so we each know what the other's on. Uh, Oath of Druids. Uh, this is a, it, so whereas with Infect, Shops was probably the worst matchup that I regularly came across, with the exception of Pyromancer. Uh, if we can call that regularly. Where can I watch the vid when done? T on <laughs> Glistener Elf on YouTube. I'm so glad I'm not being... I don't mean to be harsh on you, Skylar, just when you were drawing the, them individually. Oh, 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 that's how we do Okay, that's how we roll. Alright, so I'm going to assume that that resolves, just maybe, and pass the turn. And I have to remember, before I draw, this is an upkeep trigger, and I, I play Oath in paper. This will be my first time playing Oath online, so I actually need to make sure that I don't forget that. That's that's going to be important. Thou shalt not forget. Okay. Okay. So even if they try to waste the Orchard, one, I could respond, but two, they have a creature anyway. Uh, and it's not like, say, uh, an Arcbound Ravager or uh, a Walking Blister where they can get rid of it on its own. Alas, uh, they don't really have a choice with that. Ooh, okay. What's it going to be? 
Uh, how? Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Um, do we care at this point? I don't think we do, right? I I don't think that matters anymore. Like they they already played another land. They're not going to get to cast anything else this turn. So I guess we're okay. We're going to let it resolve. Okay, what you gonna do? Hit me for one, or is this adding a counter? Oh. Want to make sure that I don't accidentally cause an action, like draw a card. Alright, there we go, we're adding a counter. We got there, we got there. Cool. Yep, we got there. Alright. You never know. <laughs> you never, you never, you never know. Okay, do this correctly. Uh, upkeep trigger. Alright, so here we go. Here's... I'm gonna discard from the deck, which is a weird way of wording it, but this, this client was made for games in general, not just magic. So, one, astro, astroturf, two, three, four, Five, there's absolutely no need to count. However, I need to make sure I don't accidentally go too far. That would be... that would be bad. That would be a problem, folks. Uh, now, one disadvantage to doing it the way I did, where I did time walk first, is that I can't play the creature and then time walk afterwards. Uh, it may very well have been optimal to save the time walk so that I could get a free attack, but because I'm Golden Gun, I have a 1 in 3 chance of getting it off anyway. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And it gives me an extra card to work with. If I time walk first, I have an extra card. Not that it matters now. Okay. I need to stop talking because I will forget and go past a creature or a dragon breath if I'm not careful. Oh my god. Where? Where the heck are you guys? I'm not even that deep into my deck, but it's already worrying me. This is the joy of playing Oath, unfortunately. There's my recall. Like, I'd, I've already won the game, so I shouldn't need to worry. Hey, there you are. Okay, and we'll do a check. Nope, there's no Dragon Breath. Alright, so Blightsteel just comes straight into play. This is, this is a fun, fair game of magic, folks. This is a fair game of magic. Just as Richard Garfield intended. Okay, so what we are going to do, however, and, and this is just to guarantee, guarantee, uh, that I do not... Now, I'll, oh, by the way, now I draw a card. Because that was all upkeep, folks. Okay, so I'm going to preordain here. That way it won't be possible for me to die if I mill... Uh, if I activate uh, Oath one more time to get Emrakul as well. So we're going to give them a creature. You get a token. Congrats! <laughs> Alright. This is a weird looking... And this is also probably not necessary, but in this spot, uh, shops cannot do anything. Uh, there, there's just actually nothing that they can do at this point. Um, so, preordain for three mana. It, it's a standard card, basically. Let's make sure we don't... Alright, we're looking at the top... There we go. Look at top two cards. Lag. Okay. Um, I'm going to put both of these on the bottom. Bottom of deck. Bottom of... I, I, I can draw the Black Lotus, but I can't cast it anyway. So we're just going to put it on the bottom. It doesn't really matter. At this point, we are so far ahead, it makes exactly zero difference. And then I'll draw a card. Oh, you know what? It does make a difference, because now I can draw Emrakul here. If I had drawn Emrakul there... Alright. Just in case they decide to go on a wasting spree... Uh, you know, maybe I should just give my opponent a creature? No, no, if I, I forgot, if I give them the creature, then when I hit the untap button, it, it untaps it for, for me. Um, I think my opponent has to actually get the creature themselves, if I'm not mistaken. That they have to make the token. Um, I could be wrong. I think, though, that the way that it works is that it, uh... Alright, you can't attack yet, so go for it, buddy. 
Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I probably should have done Time Walk after the Oath. The, the Oath was going to be fine. I, I could have actually ended the game right here if I had played it in the opposite order. I didn't need to play extra safe like that. It's not like I'm playing against, say, um, like a blue deck, where I, I want that extra card because it gives me another chance to have like a force. Just, hey, they got there. They got there. Is that... Jotaro! Jotaro token? Yara yara does I. It's like a it's like if Skull Rider what's his name? It is Skull Rider. Ghost Rider? Uh and Jotaro. Look at that hat. That's look at that hat. <laughs> You're good. You're good. So yeah, I could have had a turn two, but really turn three, but really turn two kill if I had played it the other way around. Uh, there wasn't any need for me to do that other than an abundance of caution. Uh, but it's alright, we're gonna win this anyway. Importantly, while a colorless spirit, that is not an artifact. So Steel Overseer can eat its heart out. This is just search token. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Alright, waste? Uh oh. Surely you're not going to tap all three. Uh-oh. Oh, it's four. Okay. Oh, there we go. That makes more sense. What's it going to be? Is this like a really weird hanger back? Hanger back would be... Okay, so the trick, though, is that if Blightsteel uh, attacks and kills hanger back, the minus one, minus one counters will mean that no uh, tokens are added. But yes, that is a two-two. Uh... I actually can't respond here anyway because of Trinisphere. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. That's a 2-2, two, two, right? 1-2, one, 1-2. Two, one, two. Alright, we're, we're fixing it. We're fixing it, folks. We're getting there. It will be a 3-3 three, three when Steel Overseer does its thing. Hey, wait. Nani? Isn't that a... Okay, okay, we got there. <laughs> we got there, folks. It took us a sec, but we got there. Okay, um, I, I am not a huge fan of this play, but that's okay. It, it ends up working out. Uh, we're just gonna go all in. We have a 1 in 2 chance of getting the Dragon Breath kill. So let's go untap, uh, trigger, just in case they actually can't respond, can they? No, they, they can't. Um, so we're just gonna do it. Right, there, there's nothing they can do. I keep playing around shops as if it's a deck that can do something. It cannot. It absolutely cannot. Alright. So there's Tinker for Blightsteel, because we get to do that too, folks. We get to play Tinker Blightsteel in our Oath deck. Golden Gun Oath is silly. Please, please, Dragon Breath. Please. There's Channel. Yeah, I get to run Channel too. It's it's cute, I admit. Channel is not great. Channel is for Blightsteel, Emrakul, and Karn into sideboard Blightsteel. Uh, oh, uh, we missed Dragon Breath. Yep, yeah, we missed Dragon Breath. Oh, well. Whale, that's a thing, I guess. Alright. Uh, I, you know what? I guess we'll go to combat. Um. Hiya! Swing 11 infect. We're, we're gonna find out if they know the interaction with Hangerback Walker and Infect. Because uh, this will not work the way that they think it works. To be fair, though, it used to, actually. You used to be able to give creatures uh, minus one, minus one, and plus one, plus one counters separately. So it used to actually work that way. Uh, that is no longer the case. Game two? Yeah, yeah. Um, when you get the... When you get the Emrakul, too, let's, uh, let's call that a day. Draw on play area. Oh, that's neat. I, I didn't actually notice that. All right. Uh oh, where is the uh oh? Where's the new start over? I, I oh wait, it's over here, isn't it? Uh, scoop deck. Oh wait, sideboard, sideboard. Oh no, this is access your sideboard, not go to sideboarding. All right, so look how few cards I have left in the deck. I only have ten. All right, plus sideboard. Cool, we got there. Found, we found it. We found it, folks. Uh. Oh no! Wait a sec. Are you kidding me? Alright, alright. 
<laughs> I had 10 cards left in my deck. It's only showing me 10 cards. What is going on, Untap? Go home, you're drunk. Alright, I'm gonna do that, except we're gonna do that again, because holy crap, that was weird. I should have to hit scoop all cards to deck, I guess. Maybe that's what I was supposed to do. Okay, so, uh, huh. Let's try this again. So, real quick, when I'm looking at the cards I can bring in first, so the Tabernacle at Pendrel Vale is pretty effective. They aren't actually able to use Mishra's Workshop in order to pay for the creatures. Uh, so especially, like, it's okay, play or draw, but I think that I, I want to have it in here. Okay, let, let go. Let go. What is... Hello? Untap? Hello? Oh my goodness. What is going on? It is it is drunk right now. I can't get it to let go. Is OBS catching this? OBS is catching this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna close it out and then do it again because. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. I'm gonna refresh. I'm sorry. Refreshing. It, it does that sometimes. Enter the game. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh, good, good, okay. Let's try this one more time. Gonna move it over here somewhere. Okay. Why was that so hard? Okay, and then, uh, <laughs> in energy flux. I'm actually gonna leave the damping sphere until I'm on the play. It's not nearly as effective on the draw, unfortunately. They've already gotten a turn out of shop and ancient tomb, and it's just not as much. We, we leave the Blightsteel Ant. On the draw, maybe I can bring in Chalice. I think Chalice is actually pretty fine on the draw. Uh, but otherwise... Uh, let's see. Is that... Gisela. Gisela can actually come in for one of the other creatures. Gisela comes in for Imrakul in this matchup. Imrakul's fine as well, uh, but Gisela turns off Walking Ballista and... Uh, makes it where some of their creatures just don't deal enough damage to matter. Also, when we take a look at Gisela's effect, just just real quick, if a source would deal damage to an opponent, blah blah blah, if a source would deal damage to you or a permanent you control, prevent half that damage rounded up. So pinging doesn't matter. Uh, and it's prevent half that damage rounded up. So if it would be one, prevent half of it, which is 0.5, round it up, which is one. So it prevents one. So Ballista doesn't do anything anymore, except be kind of a tiny creature. In this matchup, I think that that's okay. Now, I will say, I actually might want to take out Blightsteel, but I want to still be able to have a good Tinker target. And if you have one piece of the Time Machine combo, you get the other piece. If you don't, you, you get Blightsteel, is usually how that works. Uh, now, that's what I'm going to do right here. As for what I'm taking out, let's get Imrakul out real quick. That may seem odd, and it, it may very well be incorrect, to be honest. I, I might... it might behoove me to take out the Blightsteel instead. I still want to have something to do with Tinker. Well, let, let's see what else we have to take out. So, on the draw, we have to keep in Force of Will, in my estimation. Uh, Gush is actually a little awkward, because it's the Wasteland Strip Mine deck. I don't know about that. Imperial Seal is the worst tutor in the deck, just period. It is one of the reasons we're playing black. Mental Misstep does absolutely nothing here. Just, It's just a non-card. Uh, Narset's okay, but it, it doesn't do enough, because they won't be getting any draws in. Aside from that, I actually kind of like where we are here. Um, I don't want to have too many Oath creatures, because they're just dead in hand. If they were Chancellors, that would be one thing, but they're not, unfortunately. So, because of that... Ah... Uh, you know, maybe it's right to bring, keep in Emrakul, because Emrakul... Now, well, Blightsteel can punish them for not leaving blockers back by just killing them on the spot. Emrakul doesn't necessarily. Oh, this this is tricky. But, 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 if they sack it with, uh, if they sack Hangerback Walker, they get a bunch of tokens that they can use for blocking, which can stall for enough time. So yeah, yeah, we're going to do it this way. Uh, four for four? Let's try it. Let's try it, folks. Here goes nothing. So I'm going to draw my seven. Oh, it should. Sh yep, shuffled me automatically. It did that before. Ooh. Okay, well, Gisela is exactly not where she's supposed to be, unfortunately. 
and she's not really castable in this deck. Uh, not realistically. Like, you look at that mana cost, those are the two off colors. That is one downside to running Gisela. Uh, I'm neither running red nor white, and so realistically she's not going to get cast, period. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the otherwise this looks fine. I have two islands in Gush, uh, so we're going to lead off the basic uh, play around Wasteland, although nothing I can do about um, about Strip Mine. Uh, it also makes it a little bit slow for Assassin's Trophy, but we don't have another land anyway for that. We're going to go uh, Island, Preordain. Uh, yeah, oh, I just realized we're, we're going to get punished hard if we don't have... Like, we're not going to have Force of Will. Um, <laughs> that's my luck. When I'm playing against shops, if I'm on the draw, I do not have Force of Will. I, I think that's a, that's a law of the universe. It's a universal law. It's a universal constant. But uh, preordain into Oath, hopefully, and if we can find it, great. If not, we can Gush to try to get it on turn three, and definitely on turn three. We can also even hold up Gush to try to protect ourselves from Strip Mine or Wasteland, because we can float the mana in response. Uh, and that, that might be an interesting play we can make. This is all premised on the assumption that we're not going to get hit with like a Sphere of Resistance or a Trinosphere or something like that. Chalice on zero would be interesting. I would be okay with... Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. Let's see. What's the... Uh, Uh-oh. No, turn turn that on. Play. Hello? I don't I don't see your question. All right, there we go. How do you sideboard cards out? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, oops, I didn't realize you are a bit behind. It's okay. Hover over deck. Uh, to be fair, this is my first time playing it since the change as well. Uh... Scoop Deck, I believe is what it's called. Let me check again to make sure. Yep, Scoop Deck. Alright, so you have 66... Did I miss something? No, no. 66 cards in the deck. Is that how many you actually started with? We can we can find this out with science. And a whole lot of counting. 10, 12, 20, 26, 2, 3, 30, 1, 2, 3... 41, 42, 43, 45, 46, 50. Yeah, that's 60 cards in the main deck, so that's not it. All right. 60 cards back. <laughs> All right, we're good. We're good. Angels sang out an immaculate chorus, and down from the heavens descended. Tell me if you know that. Put that down in the comments if you know what comes next. Alright, so we're uh, deciding how we're going to sideboard, I guess, is what's going on now. Cool. Cool. Itchy nose. Good grief. Good grief. Ay, ay, ay. Itchy just everything at this point. Goodness. Goodness. Alright. Well, in the meantime, how was your day, folks? I'm fine barely awake. Now, this is a really favorable matchup. Generally speaking, one of the reasons that you play Oath is because it's supposed to have a favorable match against uh, Shops, which is one of the most popular decks in Vintage, just period. Uh, it's it's really stinking good. It's, Shops is Shops benefits from not having that many bad matchups. This is one of them. Uh, if they're on the play, and if they can just lock you out with their hate pieces, then you can win. But otherwise, not not so much. It's usually pretty tough. Uh, this is a combo deck that only needs, in my case, about seven slots: four oath, two creatures, and a dragon oath, or dragon breath, and that's it. And most of the time, you're only looking at six or seven for the whole combo in the deck. If you want to count Forbidden Orchard, you can count that as well. But it's a land, so it doesn't feel like it really detracts from a slot, especially since it's a land that makes all the colors. Uh, yep. No worries. You are a okay, Sky. Ooh, ooh, my back. Ooh, there we go. All right. <sighs> You'll play. Cool. All right. See what you got. Also, it, it helps that we have a piece of the time machine and the assassin's trophy. Depending on what we end up getting, I, we're gonna have to find a black source. But once we do, Assassin's Trophy can help to get out of some sort of lock. They're going to have Graftaker's Cage, in all likelihood, and the fact that this deck has removal 
I mean, it has counter spells too. And one of the reasons why you want to watch citing out mental misstep is that while it does very, very little, one of the things it does is it counters Graph Digger's Cage. Now, thankfully, I can win without that for a few reasons. One, I can remove it. Cool. Uh, but then two, I have Planeswalkers. Oko just wins the game on its own, and then Karn really freaking wins the game on its own. Oh, I, I should say keep. <laughs> Oops. It, it's, uh... Dude, was I waiting that long? Ooh, okay, yeah, this is this is what we were worried about, folks. Uh, we still have to lead on the island, because there's a wasteland right freaking there. Um, <sighs> yep, it resolves. That's a problem, folks. Oh, that's a problem. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay, cool. So it's my turn. I will draw. Okay. So we're going to go... Uh, first, I believe it's probably correct to... Yeah, we're going to use a Cataxian Probe here. And then... Oh, there we go. There's my life total. I'm at 18. I, I did not realize it did not reset my life total. Also, why are you at 23? Um... 23 life? Uh, I... Missed. There might have been some life gain last game. I'm trying to remember what it would have been though. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. No. Don't discard the hand. No. <laughs> okay. Well, this is fine. This is fine. <gasps> no other lands. Um. Okay. Let me. Uh. Oh god. Stop that. <laughs> Welcome to T1 Glistener Elf behind the scenes. That's the one I mean. I meant to get. Okay. We got there. Um, so revealing the hand should be, um, ah, there we are, keep revealed to, or just, uh, reveal all once, there we go, uh oh, we're doing it manually, that's okay, <laughs> this is so innocent, I love it, alright, so we're looking at each of these being able to come out on one, except for the lodestone golem, so, uh, one one, one one, one one, <laughs> fun. Presumably, they're going to start on the Overseer. Presumably. Alright, and then I'll draw, and I will pass the turn. On the next turn, we're going to try to see if we can, uh, so we, we can actually gush, and that will be interesting. The reason is because we'll have to gush and pay one mana. Um, we'll only get to float one mana off of the gush, unfortunately. Uh, with Thorn, that means we're not going to be able to do whatever we would like. Uh, yeah, so wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, okay. Okay, no, no, it's fine. We shortcutted. We shortcut. We're paying one for the Mox, and then we're using the Mox in the Wasteland for the Overseer. Okay, so that's fine. It, it looks a little out of order, but it's fine. We got there. So they did the right thing. They put the Overseer in play first, as you do. That That is 100% correct. Okay. Whale... Whale, the correct play is to wait so that they can, uh, we can try to get them with Gush. They're still going to be able to cast another creature next turn anyway, so they're probably going to use the, the Wasteland. I would, I would be exceedingly surprised if they did not use the Wasteland here. Like, that's going to have to be quite the top deck. Uh, so this is a Wasteland, targeting Trop. Response, or actually we'll, we'll do it this way. Uh, alert response. Cool. Float blue. Gush. Uh, I, so I am only able to float blue, not blue blue. Uh, Paying for, hello, I can, paying got, to paying for, <laughs> I just realized, neat how that works out. Paying for Thorn, alright, cool, you know, they, they got it, they see what's going on. They know the drill. Alright, so we're going to reveal, I mean, they already see what it is, but just as a courtesy. Uh, they're doing it for me, I should do it for them, I want to do that for them anyway. And then draw two cards, hello, there we go. This is going to put me a good bit behind, unfortunately. 
Oh, oh, they didn't, they didn't pass to, uh, oh, they didn't pass to the next step. They're casting it now? Oh, <gasps> they're casting it now. Oh, buddy. Buddy, what are you doing? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, that, that happened. Oh, if I, if I make it out, if I make it out of this game, Oh man, they didn't pass to combat. Alright, adding a counter, presumably. I think that's what's going on here. Oh no, it's okay. That is a lesson you, <laughs> that you, you don't forget when you make that mistake. I'm assuming that they know how mana dissipating for steps and phases works, so it might have just been an oopsie. I've, I've made big oopsies myself. That's a very technical big boy magic term. <laughs> So we're looking at next turn, uh, hanger back. They, they didn't have to use the wasteland. They could have actually tried for a, uh, <laughs> Okay. Okay. Let's go. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I'm thinking that I want to do so many dirty things here. Ignore that, folks. Ignore that. Um, okay. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to use the green from the Tropical Island to play an Assassin's Trophy this turn, because I have to use it on the Black Lotus because of Thorn of Amethyst. So, I, I, can't, I can't use AstroTurf on it just yet. Uh, and by the way, Assassin's Trophy just straight up is a better sinkhole <laughs> in this matchup. It's just destroy target permanent. They don't get away. They have no waste in their list. So, that's pretty neat. Given that, I'm tempted to go Island, I think I'm supposed to go Island, Black Lotus, Black Mana, Detutor, get Oath of Druids, put it in my hand, and then just try to find another mana source. If I can find another mana source, I just, I just win, unless they can find a Graft Digger's Cage. I think that's what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, hello. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. <laughs> I was, yeah, never mind. I don't know if the if OBS could find that, but I, I it desynced for a sec. All right, one mana black lotus. Let's go. All right, crack a lack for. I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that uh, even a three mana D tutor would be too strong for modern. <laughs> like a three mana D tutor, because there's a three mana you lose three life that sometimes, occasionally, sees play in Vintage, because you only get one of these and one vamp, you get the idea. Alright, so this is going to resolve. So we're going to uh, take a look in, in the deck, because it's shops, you know? You know, it's shops. <gasps> oh, no, 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 don't get cute. Don't get cute. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. You know you just have to take the, take the oath. It's okay. It's okay. You, it's alright. It's gonna be okay. Now, the other thing I could have done is I could get a key. I really want to get a key. Uh, but... Uh, manifold key, where are you? Um... Either one just wins me the game. They, they don't have Null Rod. It's probably safer. I already added it to my hand, but they haven't seen... Oh, you know what, that's fine. Actually, no, it won't let it back in. That's fine. That's probably a good thing. I shouldn't. I shouldn't take it back. Even though I haven't like finished resolving it yet, I shouldn't be. I shouldn't take it back. That's okay. What's done is done. Uh, I know that they have hate for Oath of Druids in there somewhere. I'm pretty sure they don't have hate for <laughs> for the uh, time machine. All right. Yeah, I, I count it as finishing resolving when I close it, but. That's that's probably to keep you from like cheating and putting a card that's not the one. You all saw I was trying to put the same card, but that may not be the case. So it's probably it's it's probably fair why they do that. All right, so I will pass the turn. Now we just need to find another mana source, and we just we just win the game. If we can find another mana source and not have our next draw <laughs> before that mana source be uh, blight steel, then we're in great shape. Ooh, uh, uh oh. Well, there's a clock. 
that's a clock, folks. Okay, they're activating it so that they can... Oh, I see, I see. Uh, yeah, we're good. And then presumably use the mocks to activate factory so you can gain a counter. Uh, you don't want to activate factory first. I, I am making it harder on me by doing this. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Because that's how I would want to be. Like, this Skylar seems like a newer player. Okay, that's not ideal. It's not what we were looking for. Uh, but that's okay, that's okay. They still haven't represented that they have a... Uh... Alright, so we're gonna do this. They haven't represented a wasteland or a strip mine yet. Oh yeah, duh. It's alright. That's okay. It, it happens. So let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's look at the top cards. Uh, look at the top two. I see that they're trying to do that now. Okay. Okay. We don't need the orchard here. Um, so I'm going to put this on the bottom. It's not going to matter too much. It's going to make one draw's worth of a difference. Making sure? Okay, we're good. Itchy Nose strikes again. And then I will pass the turn. If I if I lose because of that, that's okay. Oh, ew. oh, we're gonna move my leg. Ah, did you hear that pop? I'm getting old. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's been in that position for entirely too long. Alright, so we're presumably activating factory here. Gonna go swinging. No, 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 we're, we're oh, we're casting Lodestone Golem. Oh, this, that's, that's smart. That is smart. I did not see the Mana Crypt coming. I, I couldn't really play around it, though. I, I had to go and find that Mana Source, because otherwise I wasn't going to be able to cast Oath. Okay, so this is a problem, folks. I don't really know what I could have done there, to be honest. Um, so in that case, we're probably going to have to use Assassin's Trophy next turn, right? Oh no, we can't! Because there's two effects that are making it more expensive. Oh no. Oh boy. Hello? There we go, we got there. Oh boy, okay. So we're looking at... God, why? This is going to be seven next turn? 11, 1, 2, 3, yeah, that's, that's lethal next turn. Uh-oh. Are we going to lose? Although, to be fair, I didn't actually cost myself the game. Hmm. Yeah, we lose. Huh. Would it have made a difference? No. Oh, it would have made a difference! Oh, if I had, if I had gotten key instead, we'd, we'd win here. Uh, yeah, because I, well, no, we wouldn't, because, uh, this would be a three-mana time vault, and it comes in tapped, and I wouldn't have the extra mana to, uh, untap it with key. So never mind, we actually still lose here. Um, I guess we don't reveal this, and then say, game three. Alright, uh, we did some, we did some neat stuff, we did some cool stuff. Let's, uh, let's try this again. Alright. So, make sure we do this correctly, scoop all cards to deck, and then, after that, scoop all cards to deck plus sideboard. Okay, oh, my, my head's way, way down at the bottom of the camera. Alright, so now, Damping Sphere actually makes sense coming in. Um, so that is one thing. I still would like to have Gisela. Still makes sense. Um, hmm, let's see. Is there a play draw consideration for Blightsteel Imrakul? Hmm. Dig Through Time 
is slow, but I'm not sure what else I would bring in. Oh, Chalice! Chalice is coming in. That's right. Chalice comes in on the play. Damping Sphere and Chalice both come in on the play. Uh, Dig Through Time can come out. And Flusterstorm is just straight up dead. Actually, you know, looking back at it, I don't know why I took Flusterstorm, or took Mental Misstep out before Flusterstorm. I, I guess I was just focused on getting the Mental Misstep and forgot about it. Flusterstorm does actual nothing. Mental Misstep does not nothing. It does something. Okay. What else do we have here? So a bit of a punt there. Uh, a, a deck building punt, I guess. Alright. This, this looks okay. We can do this, folks. We can do this. Good luck. Alright, let's see. It says that I've shuffled. Thank you, auto shuffle. Okay, come on. Ooh! Damping Sphere Karn. Okay, so we don't get... Sadly, we don't get turn one Damping Sphere. That's a little unfortunate. Um, because of that, I kind of want to lead on the Orchard, hold up Force of Will, and then on the next turn, I can either play Damping Sphere or I can Waste. I would like to save the Waste, if at all possible, for Factory, because we're going to have Damping Sphere to deal with the other lands anyway. So that's all right. Uh, interestingly, um, it produces colorless instead of any other type and amount. Um, I think that the interaction with shop is that they're actually still going to be able to only use it on artifacts because it changes it changes the color to waste to uh, colorless, but it doesn't change anything about the characteristics for what it's able to be spent on. If I'm not mistaken. I believe that it's the same interaction that it has with uh, with Eldrazi. Like if you play against Eldrazi Tron. All right. We can get an MTG judge in the chat. Now this Karn here is great, but uh, that's going to be a little like we're not going to actually cast Karn in all likelihood. We're going to have to find some serious stuff on top of our deck to be able to cast this Karn. Like we can slow the game down, and we have Assassin's Trophy, and we have a draw spell if we don't need to use it for Force of Will. Uh, but otherwise... Oh, uh-oh. There's a mull. Okay. So, what are we mulling for here? Or maybe it's just a bad hand. That happens. The deck doesn't run too many lands at all. Not not that it needs to. It has Moxen. But, you know, accounting the Moxen, the deck is rocking something like 25 mana sources, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. It's, it's okay. It's alright. So, putting a card over there. And I believe I said keep, but just in case I did not... Here we go. Keep and Orchard. Hold it up. Pass. Hold up that force of will. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, OBS, you better be recording. Hey, there we go. Alright, there's a an ancient uh vicious workshop. Okay, well, this is gonna be a little slow. Damping sphere without the ability to ramp into it is a bit unfortunate. And I guess they're deciding what to play next? Alright, see what you got. Ballista. Um... Ballista on one is fine. I can live with that. Ballista on one is okay. No, 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 no! No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Ballista on one. We're gonna we're gonna get that done first, okay, and then, and then you. Oh, oh, yeah, you know what? There we go. We're back to nineteen. We got there, folks. Oops, oops, wrong, wrong one. Right there. There we go. Cause you know that matters. It actually does. Okay, now that we've gotten that silliness out of the way. Uh, did we have to do that? I think we kind of did, because we didn't. We weren't guaranteed to have the next mana, colored mana for trophy. Uh, so now that it's my turn again, draw. Uh, right on time, Chalice. Right on time. We. I don't actually want to cast it here. They don't have any Moxen in hand, or they would have played it. And I could use some Moxen in a bit, because I have Karn here. 
This is this is really awkward to be honest. All right, so we have to do this now. They're going to gain a token, and then uh, the good news is now shop is kind of offline for a little bit. Do I really want to? No, no, I don't. Oh, but I, I want to be careful. I don't want to wait too long. I, I need to wait a little bit longer. I need to find more mana sources, and uh, this ain't it, Chief. Uh, so presumably, presumably, uh, they only have uh, lands in hand, if that. Maybe it's just the only land in my hand is Mishra's Workshop, in which case, got him. Nope. Okay. Well, there they go. There they go. So they're still going to lose two life, by the way. They still lose two life. <laughs> uh, it's still a two mana spell, though. And this is a deck that has a curve that starts at two mana. Aside from, like, rocks. Mana rocks. Soul Ring. Soul Man. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. Hmm. I mean, I guess two can play at that game. Touche. <laughs> Touche. Oh, oh my back. All right. What you got? Anything else? All right, my turn. Let's see. Now I really don't want to give up that wasteland. Okay, there's a key. Can play a two mana key. Which I guess I will. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I, I just realized they did not make the token. You didn't make the spirit token. I, that's not a may. That is a must. I. Yep, yep. Yeah, so that that's not something... Technically, that's my trigger. You heard me verbally acknowledge it, but I didn't let my opponent... I didn't remind my opponent, hey, by the way, you get a spirit. I, I actually need to find out for the future if I can give my opponent a token, because I'm, I'm pretty sure what'll happen is it'll tap or untap whenever I... I can't tap or untap my opponent's stuff. I just tried. So, yeah, it, it's okay. It's all good. Uh, which actually means I should be at 17 here. Gonna adjust that in a second. Once they get it into play. Yeah, I guess we'll do that now. I am forgetful enough. I will forget. Alright. Can't see, but I'm trying to hold myself up just enough to, like, stretch my back out a little bit. Gives my arms a workout and my back a much-needed expansion. Of those exercise machines you see people have in their homes where they like they put their legs into it and then it, they lean back and it just stretches them yeah I do that but just by holding myself up okay cool they got there whoa ah. Ah. I have no idea what that is stop moving it <laughs> oh it, okay uh, it doesn't actually fly just FYI um, but that's that's close enough Close enough. No flying, but it's all good. Yeah, it's weird though. It's a spirit that does not fly. <laughs> sure. Alright. So cool. Um, you know, it's still my turn. So the reason I'm debating here is that if I play the key, I give my opponent a faster clock at a time when I really, really can't afford that. So we're just going to... Oh. Can't see the token image preview, so I guess. Oh man, your internet's even slower than mine, and that's saying something. Good grief. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Oh, hi Didgeridoo. Hi, Didgeridoo. So, on the one hand, no, I really can't give up this wasteland because I need to actually start casting spells. I need to find some mana 
and start casting spells. Like, that damping sphere was 100% necessary, but anything else, I better have a real good reason for it. Hmm. Alright, let's see. I had to use the force on the cage, I believe. It may not have been correct because I had the Assassin's Trophy, but I didn't have the mana for it yet. I'll have the mana to use it on Sphere anyway. Uh, oh, you left. You left, Didri. Why'd you leave? Why'd you gotta be so, why you gotta be so cruel? Alright. There's already music playing. I don't need to sing on top of that. Okay, what you got? Anything else? Another two drop? Hit me with a... Oh, they can't! If it's a two drop, they can't cast it! Yay for Sphere of Resistance. Yay for Symmetrical Effects. This is why Thorn of Amethyst is restricted and Sphere is not, though, to be fair, Sphere probably needs to be restricted too. There's my... there's my opinion. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm... Ooh. Oh. Oh. <sighs> do I do it? Do I do it? I don't think I do. Not yet. Well, I'm going to wait. I'm going to pass the turn. So I could do it now and try to find another land, and especially if it's a fetch land, I can get rid of some of these cards, like Chalice, that I just don't need right now. I can't wait for too much longer, though, but the sooner I do it, the faster the clock I give my opponent. But, the longer I wait, the less likely... I mean, I need to find something. We're gonna keep... Uh-oh. One mana. Zero mana. Oh, 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 we can't cast it. We can't cast it. It's a two drop and they can't cast it. <laughs> I I got it. I got it. I, I can't even see your hand, but I, I know what's going on. I know what's going on there. Thank you, Damping Sphere. It was completely worth it in, in this game. It was completely worth giving them a 1-1. One, one. I need to find something, though. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Okay. So we'll take my turn, draw a card. <gasps> we have Time Machine! Okay. Okay, we have the actual factual Time Machine. Okay. Alright, let's, let's do some math here, folks. If I play the... If I play the Manifold Key now going to give them a 1-1. One, one. I'm going to be at 10 next turn. If I find another land, I can play the Time Vault, give them another one, I'll be at 6 the next turn. If they don't find any more creatures, I have one turn of lenience because I'll go from 6 to 2 on the next turn. Uh, do I want to go for it? I think I have to go for it, because if I brainstorm here... Yeah, yeah, I, if I brainstorm here... It's going to be like 3 next turn, 10, 6, 1. Yeah, so we, we just have to go for it. Alright, come on, deck. And not just anything will do, an actual land will do here. If it's a mox, it's going to have to be, it's going to cost 1. Though, it does give me a turn of leniency, so it's okay actually. Uh, and then I will pass the turn. Don't forget. They can just make a copy, right? Clone card? Oh, they got it, they got it. Never mind, they got it. Alright. How do I... Discard. Boop! There we go. Boop! <laughs> we got there, folks. We got there. Okay. Moment of truth. Can I find a top deck land? Can I find a top deck? Can they not find a top deck land, please? Alright, okay. This isn't just that I'm... I'm getting unlucky, but they're getting unlucky too. So it's it's not... It is what it is. This is supposed to be a favored match for Oath, by the way. Our decks are just looking really stinking weird for no reason. Other than that's just what Richard Garfield in all his infinite wisdom has decided. No, it's fine. Alright, so I'm at 10. Alright, come on. Come on, deck. Do it. We can't cast channel. Alright, so we have to brainstorm here. It's gonna put me to six the next turn. Alright. Alright, 
two mana brainstorm. That is a standard. Now that might actually no, even that's too good for standard. Maybe a modern card? I could see that. Okay, come on, deck. We're gonna get a land this turn. Unless I am just actually the unluckiest guy in exi okay. Oh <gasps> no! Okay, well, no, it's, it's fine. There's a Black Lotus. I, I need to put two cards back, but... Still resolving. Okay. So, uh, Gush does nothing. Energy Flux is a little too light, and these aren't artifacts, so it doesn't actually help here. Uh, Energy Flux would have been real sweet, because they can't use the Workshop mana. So they, they would just wipe their board. If they get to keep their lands, and that's actually it. Um, if I went Black Lotus, uh, okay. So let, let's let's pretend that I have Black Lotus. Uh, play that next turn. Go Wasteland, Black Lotus, three mana channel. I don't have the life, so it actually doesn't matter. Uh, so never mind. Not that then. Not that. Uh, so channel's not good here. I don't have the life total to sustain it anymore. And I can't even cast the chalice here. Not that I would, but I can't. So I guess we're going to put chalice on top and channel? It doesn't actually matter because most of these cards are dead anyway. Wait, 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 wait. It's going to be gush. It's going to be gush, but let, let's let's think about this real quick. So if I go on my next turn, one mana, uh, Black Lotus, Crack the Black Lotus, Time Vault, Untap, Manifold Key. <gasps> oh, there's my infinite turns. Okay, okay, okay. So we're we're good. We're good. I don't I don't need channel to do any shenanigans here. I could theoretically channel to make enough mana to get this combo started, uh, but we're actually okay. Uh, so I think we. Think we won, folks. In before Chalice on Zero, just to ruin my day. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, there you go. If they had a Chalice, they they absolutely... Well, no, they might be in the same spot as me, where they don't want to use it because they want to find a Mox or a Lotus. Are we attacking here? Attacking with the team? All right, cool. One, two, three, four. Hello? There we go. We got there. I keep checking OBS. I'm paranoid it's not going to be recording. It's recording, though. It's recording this silliness. This this is a stupid game. Okay. <laughs> I love it, but this is a stupid game. Welcome to Vintage, folks. Alright. One mana Black Lotus. Uh, crack it for three mana. Three mana Time Vault. Time Machine combo? I, I don't actually know if my opponent knows how that works. Uh, uh, so, here's what's going to happen. If my opponent makes me play it out, and they should, my opponent should make me play it out, I will go, uh, I will Forbidden Orchard to, un to, un to tap Manifold Key to untap Time Vault, uh, tap Time Vault to take an extra turn, Untap everything except for Time Vault for my next turn, and I'll just keep doing that until I get an Oath. Oath can then hit a creature, and I can just swing with that creature infinitely. In, not infinitely. Okay. It's all good. Let me show you. Uh, so we're going to target, source, this one, we're going to untap it, tap, take an extra turn, keep doing that until I get Oath into a creature. I mean, that's, that's, that's basically it. Um, <laughs> Infinite turns, yeah. Yeah, that's this that's this silly combo. <laughs> I even got channel and Karn, but I couldn't use it. 
If I had gotten Channel sooner, well, it wouldn't have mattered because I didn't have the second green source until Black Lotus, but you can go Channel, Karn, Blightsteel, or Channel, Karn, Mycosynth Lattice. Uh, you don't need Mycosynth in this in this matchup unless you just want to shut down their lands for no reason. Uh, it already is a one-sided Null Rod against shops, which is pretty good. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's this deck. That's what I'm doing. Uh, good game. Make sure, make sure that they're all right with it, that they, they understand what's going on. Uh, people that are newer to Vintage, I've done this before, and it's like, do you, do you need me to show you how this works? Yeah, like, usually people will get it in paper, because you can just, like, demonstrate it really quickly. See, you can show them the card, all that jazz. Online, it's maybe a little bit trickier, especially on a client like this, where it doesn't automatically do it for you. Um, and the, the chat will say, I mean, Frixian Metamorph? I... I won't give you any more turns. I, I mean, lol. Uh, to get land. Will I live two turns? Oh, if you had. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, Phyrexian Metamorph unfortunately couldn't be cast there anyway. Um, yeah, it, with two more lands. Uh, that Damping Sphere. Damping Sphere. OP. <laughs> it's a weird sideboard card. Oh, look at that! <laughs> I love Metamorph. Like, I, I genuinely love... Oh, that's a weird way to capitalize that. I genuinely love Metamorph because my favorite version of Shops was for Lodestone Golem, for Metamorph, back before Lodestone got restricted. When it was your win con and your uh, interaction at the same time, and you just stacked those effects up and just never let them cast a spell. Even in the mirror it was okay, because you had a 5-3. Uh, make sure to watch the video. Oh, thanks! I, I appreciate that. It's, it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm still amazed. <sighs> oh, I can't spell that anyone watches. So, uh, you know, all right, bye. I'll see you later. Adios. All right, so that's uh. Oh, oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 real, real quick, real quick. Let me let me see if I can quickly reveal the hand. Uh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Reveal, reveal. There we go. Got it in time. Maybe. Okay. Cool. Uh, they got to see. So that was that was the hand. So I had Karn, Astroturf, <laughs> Channel, but Channel is a lot better on turn one or two than it is when you've been beaten down by bad shops for a while. Like, I, I did more damage to myself thanks to these spirits than poor Walking Ballista did. Poor thing. Poor Walking Ballista. Oh, you did what you could. You did what you could, bud. Alright. Well, that's it. Take care, everybody, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye!